Selling my song. Don't Yo. sell it. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. What's, What's up? up? We back, everybody. What's we back here on some podcast. Woo! I'm here, my motherfucking man, Mr. King Unique, right here. How you doing? And motherfucking, look who just walked in the motherfucking door. Mr. Yo, yo, yo. O City JB. What's up, baby? Yo, what's popping? What's popping? How's everything? Man, everything is lovely, man. Shout out to Air Hustling. Shout out to my boy Y2 James. Shout out to New Unique. Shout out to Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I came out here and I dripped in y'all city. It's been all love. love. Oh, you dripped in our city, huh? All in your city. Well, man. I missed that drip. For sure. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You just wasn't watching, man. Hey, it's love all the way from Houston, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Mo City JB and his bitch. HBMG and his bitch. BG and his bitch. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. All everybody in this bitch. <laughs> we here all the way from Houston, Texas. Mo What's City, going on? Texas. So welcome. What's good? Well, everyone treating you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all love. Man, so let's get let's just get right into it. So tell, you know, right. th- a lot of people, they know who you are, but there's some people that you, you're trying to, you know, get a, a new base also. So tell people exactly who Mo City JB is. Mo City JB, I am a signed artist. Oh, no, well, well, hold on, hold on. Signed wait, hold on, wait a minute. Let, let's label? stop. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. He needs a drink because I need him to open up. Oh, I yeah, need yeah, to yeah, do yeah, that, yeah, okay? Yeah. Let's fuck the bullshit, hey, okay? Did, he, what they call a <laughs> sexy voice. Yes, God, that oh, just took me too fast right oh, there. He oh, need oh, a drink. Hey, bring me that oh, crown. Straight, straight. Crown, straight. Crown, straight. Crown, crown vanilla? Yeah, yeah, vanilla. Yes, come on, crown vanilla. Is it straight up? Yes. Yeah, straight. 
Oh, oh you, you don't know. You want to water it down? No, 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 straight, straight. I mean, no ice. Yeah, yeah. So straight. Oh, like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, we rock it like that. We don't put no water in the. Gym. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, uh, this my my shit got sprite. Fuck put, what you heard. For those like him, you know, call you me what you want to call me. Have a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what they call a chaser? Is that what they call it? That's what they call it. No, I guess so. For the motherfuckers like you, <laughs> you need to chase us. I'll chase it. Yeah, you can't take it. I'll straight. chase you or chase it. Oh, I'll okay. chase it. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, <Chase>. watch <laughs> Right. Why you got two watches on? Oh. Hey, man, I'm just sitting in a little, little trend. Shout out to the baby. I got two watches. Hey, still come in late. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got something for you. I got something for you. Yes, come on for the two watches. Yes, come on. Come on for the tip. Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got you, got you. <laughs> yes. So anyway, Mo City, tell everybody exactly who Mo City JB is. Shit, Mo City JB, I'm a motherfucking signed artist under the label HBMG. Uh, I'm a fashion model, not a published model. I'm a fashion model. What's the difference? Published is just being in a magazine or, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, a brand publishing their work with you in it or something. Mm -hmm. um, I'm signed. That's a big difference. Like, you can be on Instagram just uploading pictures and be published on an online magazine. I got you. But also, I'm in real magazines, online magazines, and I'm signed to Neil Hamill. Shout out Neil Hamill Houston. And uh, shit, that's most cities that be on. Motherfucking rapper. That model, not a model that rap. A rap. You know what I'm oh. saying? That's what I do. And the modeling shit just natural. Okay. Now, if I'm not, if I'm, you're from, where are you from? They say you're from Missouri City. I'm assuming that's where Mo City comes from. He's correct? no other. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm from the South, man. South what? side. Shout out Mo City, Texas. Mo City. What, what, oh, Mo City, te yeah. Yeah. Texas. Nah, not yeah. Missouri. Not, not Missouri. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, <laughs> kind of got excited. Yeah, right. Calm Thought down, the motherfucker now. was yeah, north I, of the Mason no, Dixon you're line. You're not the only one that's in the north, okay? But uh, that's not uh, what we're talking uh, about. Yeah, that okay? way. That part. Yeah, nah, man. I'm from uh, I'm it. from Missouri City, Texas. We call it Mo City for short. You know uh, what I'm saying, if you a real Mo City nigga, we call it Mo City for short. It's just an outskirt city in Houston. But when I'm out and I'm uh, about and shit, I don't just say Mo City. You know what I'm saying? I say Houston. You know what I'm saying? Just sum it up because they don't know what Missouri City is or what Mo City is. But when they saying my name, they don't know they speaking on the hood. So I'm putting on for the city regardless. That's the hood, yeah, huh? That's the hood. I gotta go check out Missouri because you know what? Where I'm from, when the people say that's the oh, hood, yeah. I gotta go check I mean, it out. You say you're from Chicago. Hood. That's that's the real hood, but that's what just you because say. just because it's not Chicago don't mean it. Don't mean it ain't the hood, right? right. You right, right. 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 So I think yeah, a lot of people exactly. get that twisted. Exactly. You know, some people they exactly. think you when you talk to some people from um, L.A., New York, Miami, first Detroit. thing that they always do, the first thing they want to say, I'm from motherfucking New York, Wait, but Detroit is Chicago, bitch. I'm from here. I know. Bitch, you ain't bitch. told no lie when you said Chicago that. Chicago shook, bitch. You know, you ain't said that. I said, I ain't like it. You, you better say it. Don't, don't say too much. You got somebody in here from Detroit. That's they okay. Come, they may uh, come back around here and go upside your no, damn No, she head. won't. Okay. <laughs> he won't. But I bet you they ain't drinking the water up there because, you know, Flint, they got yeah, some issues up there with their water. Yeah, water. So yeah, it's kind of poisonous. Yeah, you know, it's a stunt growth. <laughs> right, right, right. But, yeah, some people, they live in their different... <laughs> Not the stunt growth. <laughs> the stunt your growth, baby. <laughs> Stay away from the wild in Detroit. <laughs> right. I need to go down to Missouri, Texas and see what's in Missouri City, Texas. And they, see. I, I don't know. <laughs> shit, they got some good shit in the water. Like right. Some age reversing type. Oh, you got a baby too. How's yeah, your baby? Yeah, I, I, yes. got, I got a baby boy. He, he real good. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How old is he? Oh, uh, he just turned 11 months. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Almost that one year. Yeah, almost. When man. is his birthday? Uh, He will turn one next month. And what 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 March. sign is that? He's a Pisces. Oh, yes. yeah. he gonna be a handful. Shit, he already a handful. Ah, he got me. It. He got me in his blood, man. Ah, so you a handful? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I mean, I'm mature and grew up. I ain't right. really that much of a handful, but when I was yes. younger, mm -hmm. sheesh, sheesh, <laughs> sheesh, he's bad. bad as hell. Yes. Yes. So we have some people that I know for sure that's gonna be watching. That's aspiring um, entertainers and aspiring models. Uh -huh. How did you get started as far as you? That you say that you wanted to model. How? What was your first step? So let's let's clear that up because a lot of people want to know exactly how do they how do they get their first step in modeling. Well, it's different for everybody. Everybody have their own journey and paths. Um, a lot of people try to copy and try to imitate and just want what other people have instead of just reflecting on themselves and seeing what they good at. Mm -hmm. You know, some kids might want to be a model, but they actually smart enough to go through school the whole way. Mm -hmm. You know, it was different for me. I knew I didn't want to go to school. I was sitting in my senior class looking at all these kids. They was kids to me because in my brain, I'm so ahead of my time. I grew up fast. I knew um, I was going to be bigger than school because 
Yeah, I can go to school, I can get a um, degree and all of that, but everything that I'm doing now and that I have, everybody trying to get that. I got bros and people I went to school with in college now, and they looking at me, they want to do what I do, but they don't understand that this is the lane that God put me in. Like, this is the journey that he set up for my life. It's, this, it's not the same as yours. It, you're not going to have to go through what I went through to get to where you want to go. I'm saying it's different. So I'm just saying, like, all of this to be yourself and follow your dreams. And you know what I'm saying people going to say no. You ain't going to get it the first try. You got to go through hell, you know what I'm saying, to get to heaven. You ain't go through much hell. Man, I went through, hey, I went through some shit. It might not look like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I've been through some shit, man. I was say, because they shouldn't have did that. Shit. Hey, that's, <laughs> hey, that's what I be saying. That's what I be saying. But, hey, it's they, it's they fault. You got to yeah, sit and is. watch a nigga eat. So, let me ask you this question. So, if, if someone is watching and they want to be a model, do you... Because there's a lot of scam artists out there as far as modeling that they want money up front. Mm -hmm. So let's clear this up right now. If someone comes to you and they want money to be a model, is that a scam or no? Like I said, it's different for everything. You can be with a real agency. You can be with a talent agency. Sometimes you have to spend money to make money. You might want to be a model for real, but you might actually need some classes. You know what I'm saying? You might have to pay for that. But if somebody really wants you... They're not going to make you spend money. They're going to invest their money into you because they believe in you. If not, they're just trying to get money out of you. So you got to really be careful about who you work with and who you give yourself to. So just be mindful, you know what I'm saying? Just read through them contracts. Do your research. Do your homework on anybody that you want to work with. You know what I'm saying? And just try to make the best decisions because it's, it's your career. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever you're trying to do, that's you. You know what I'm saying? And, and whoever's telling you no or whoever uh, don't want to work with you this time or that time, they don't have the last say-so over your life. You know what I'm saying? That's just one person. If one door don't want to open, you never know what God got in store for you for these other doors that you want to open for you. Hey, Amen. That's what's well, up. Um, um, also, uh, <laughs> well, how's this uh, gym shoe uh, situation going? I saw the picture and stuff and everything. How'd you get signed shoes? with yeah. Asics? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, not, I'm not signed with Asics. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Clear that up. Yeah, okay. Like, clear I'm that not, up. I'm not signed with ASIC <laughs> shoes. That was a big job that my agency, shout out Neil Hamill, mm -hmm. booked for me. Okay. And mind you, people don't know that I wasn't supposed to be the face of their brand nationwide in every foot action. While we're talking, I'm going to show a little clip while you're talking. Yeah, because I think you had did a video of you in the mall with your baby walking yeah, yeah, up yeah. to yeah. in the Galleria. So I'm going to play that real quick so they can see exactly gallery, what it is right that I'm talking about. It is dope. That's in Houston, Texas right there. Yeah, when you where I'm from, stuff like that. Your baby funny. Yeah, he, 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 he got a lot of character in him, man. But when you were, when you from where I'm from, doing stuff like that, you have to be like really rich, like... If you from where I'm from, you would never think you would see yourself like that. So I had to bring the most special person to me and nearest to me to go see it in person because so many people was telling me it was up. First person that told me it was up was in New York. I never been to New York. I just got back. Oh, so they the had them not only in Houston Gallery, but they had them all Na over nationwide. 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 Wow. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, but I'm not signed with Asics. Okay. They basically after the shoot, it was me and a few other models. They were doing uh basically like a little documentary uh, over all of us, and also they did pictures. So when they sat down and had all the work, they picked who they wanted to represent their brand big. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It wasn't just that picture. I had smaller pictures in the stores. When you go look at the uh, clothes in there, they also dropped clothes and mm -hmm. shoes. They had sm my smaller pictures on the racks and all of that for mm -hmm. months. So it was really destined. Like, that was God. That was a blessing. They just put it up everywhere, and that was just another plus in my career, you know what I'm saying, to be up. And be broadcasted like that. It was just a blessing. I got somebody who says that um, uh -oh. a friend of mine named Charles Anthony, he says that he's from Mo City. Uh, he said your music was A1. He said something about Ridgemont or Willow Ridge or something. Hey, something. shout out Ridgemont. Shout out Willow Ridge. That's a, the that's a school in the Mo. You know what I'm saying that's a real school in the Mo. Ridgemont is a real hood in the Mo. That's where Zero from. You know what I'm saying shout out Mo City, Texas. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate the love. Keep fucking with me. I got a lot of hot shit on the way. Yes, Mr. Ivan, thank you. Nice yes. setup in here. Thank you so much. Keep keep it going. Y'all share this for me. Y'all like it. Uh, we trying to we trying to get this get this stuff out. Get the word out. You know, try to promote everybody that we bringing in here. So you know, let's keep the conversation. Let's keep it going. So you are. Uh, a model, and you are a rapper as well. Yes, and a sir. father. Yes, and sir. a father. Three things. Three yes, things. Sir. Yes. And an online gym coach. Oh. And an online gym coach. Calm down. Don't, don't take us. And an actor. Oh, here M we go. I said don't take us too damn fast, yeah, we, okay? We got, we got a list. Calm down, okay? <laughs> hey, Calm hey, down. Hey, don't limit yourself. Right. Man. No, let, let, me, let me talk, okay? <laughs> damn. Let me talk. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> He's so funny. He said, don't limit yourself. Right. We you all, can't. Yeah. We're going to sell you yourself can't. short. You can't limit yourself. We're giving them a show. All mm. right. So uh, you're a rapper. Tell us exactly how that all, all came about. All right. So I didn't even really answer like the modeling and stuff all the way. I just ventured off. But model-wise, my sister is a sign model. My dad was a sign model to Page Parks. There's only two big modeling agencies in Houston. Uh, Page Parks and Neil Hammer. I'm with Neil Hammer. I'm so the, those, so, so your whole family? Yeah. Not my whole family. Just my my uh, my big sister, my dad, and my uncle. Oh, your dad model? Yeah, he he did used to model. Oh, yeah, Tommy Hilfiger ads, all that kind of. Oh shit. wow, yeah. we gotta look this up. Oh, it's in the blood. It's in the blood. I can show you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. bro, you gonna have to. What, we, we gonna have to break this up. We got display daddy on right. the screen. Hey, <laughs> this is an older version of me. Yeah, shout right. out my pops, yeah. man. Yeah. Right. So and then of course I'm assuming you're. You'll start the grooming process for your little one. You got this. Well, I believe in my heart that you got to start the grooming process today. Today, oh, it's already happening. Yeah. But you see, it's crazy how life is because my dad didn't finish his modeling career. I'm gonna mm -hmm. finish mine. Mm -hmm. I used to play sports before I uh, did any of this, so I honestly feel like my son is gonna finish the sports because I didn't finish that. He might be a model. You never know. Mm -hmm. But I honestly feel, feel like it's gonna be like a traditional thing. Shit, he he might be. In sports, he might just do school. He might be a model. Who knows? But I'm gonna push him. Gotta push him. Support gotta him. Push him. You definitely, you gotta, you definitely oh, have to do that. Man. Yes. Yeah, you definitely have to do that. So tell us, tell us, Mo, exactly who all have you worked with? Uh, like music wise. Yeah. Or what? Oh, music wise, um, big name. Shout out my bro Pronto though. He's on the label with me. Okay. I worked with producers like Belden did yeah, that. Yeah, you got a coaster right here. Oh, my bad. My What's bad. Okay, I don't know what y'all do down in. in uh, don't sit the glass on the wood. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. You got a coast. Sit right it here. on the coast. Yeah, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't want it to stick and shit. Yeah, I don't, don't know want no water. That. I don't know what y'all right, got yeah. going on where you from. Okay, yeah. but here in the slums. Okay, we do. We <laughs> in the slums. In the motherfucking slums. Dallas business. ain't no slum. Yeah, but someone told me that over here where I was was the slums. Oh. Okay, that's what they told me. That's what they told you. But yeah. you got a house yeah. over here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't right. know nothing about that. Okay. Okay. They, it must be the slums where but they But that's live. what it came from. If you see it, on the scrolling screen, it says streaming live from the slums uh, of Dallas. Okay? Oh, I didn't see that. That's what I'm letting you know. Wow, that's what I'm oh. telling you. Streaming live streaming from the slums, from the slums, bitch, slums okay? bitch. Yes. <laughs> you better be slum dog millionaire. Yeah, <laughs> Is it slum dog or slum dog? Slum dog. Slim, thank you. See, yeah, slum, slum dog. Okay. Yeah, I'll be all of that. That's okay. fine. It's a, it, was, it was a million dollar movie. Sure they won. Was. They got Oscars too. Yeah, yeah, they sure did. Was. For sure. <laughs> but back to him. Uh, so, um, how is this uh, record label treating you? How is everything going? Uh, with that? I'm with an independent label. Oh, okay. uh, HBMG is out of Houston. Shout out my manager. Shout out my team and the producers that I work with. It was basically destiny because, like I said, I ain't finished the modeling shit. Basically, I always been taking pictures, but I never knew I was modeling. Like, I would literally upload shit, and it will go everywhere. They steal my shit, make okay. pages, do all that shit. So I've been modeling. I just didn't know what I was really doing. So mm -hmm. uh, I went through some shit in my life, you know what I'm saying? And after that, I, um, I turned my life around, mm -hmm. and I started mm -hmm. modeling. I picked up where I, where I left it, and the shit started going crazy again. But I, I feel like I was missing something, mm -hmm. and I wanted to do something bigger. I wanted to put my focus on something bigger. And so uh, my big bro, Pronto though. He came to me one day with some uh, real paperwork and some real business because I always had the, the image and the platform to make music. I always had a lot of followers. I always had the girls going crazy. I always had fans. But mm -hmm. he was just like, hey, bitch, I'm going to make you a star. <laughs> I was like, what you mean? He was like, hey, let's, let's start making some music because I put out a song a while ago and it got a lot of plays and I really didn't promote it. So... He saw some numbers that I had, and I, like I said, the platform and shit. Mo getting his drink on, y'all. Drink on. He like to get his drink on in here. Right. That's that, that like my fifth drink. Right. I guess he's going to come in here and drink yeah. me out of house oh, and I home, I guess. Entirely late. Yeah. <laughs> entirely late. Yeah, you are. I, I wasn't we'll on talk time. about that off we air, okay? About, we'll talk about that off air. Well, I'm at on the camera. The put me on the camera. Yeah, hold on. Let me put you back on here. The executive producer said we may have to have a write up slip for you, okay? Who said that? The executive producer, okay? She just started. Anyway. Yes, okay. <laughs> Motherfucker need a little rank <laughs> to hey, write me up. But like I was saying, man, they was the first people to come at me properly and genuine with, with paperwork for me to do music. And I looked at it as an opportunity to help myself and help my family and stuff of rap money. People don't know how much rap, how much rappers really make. You know what I'm saying? You can go get a show for 10 bands. You're going to get a show for 20. You, you can, can do. Yeah, I need to Man, make up could, something so I can hey, get a show. A, B, C, D, A lot of these rappers, shit. imagine getting 10K a show. Right. 5K appearance, and it's just starting off rapping. I'm not talking about the big rappers like Drake it's and all that. It's just local rappers. Yeah. You, get you can well, get here uh, in Texas. At Texas, LA. A lot, well, I mean, pay a lot of rappers yeah. and shit. Uh -huh. But I'm saying, imagine getting those kind of numbers. 
just rapping and shit, just appearing places and shit. So I looked at it as a way to feed my family and shit. And it was just adding on to what I already had going on, which was modeling. So, like I said, I'm a, a rapper that model. I'm not trying to rap or trying to model. I really do this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can Google it. You can it's look it effortless. Up. That's and it's real. The quality of it is crazy. Real I'm unique. just getting started. <laughs> now, real quick, I want y'all to do me a favor. Uh, Mo City said that he has a son. If anybody, the first person that can tell me exactly uh, what his son's sign is, then we're going to put something in the cash app. Y'all got to do it. Y'all got to uh, put it in the comments. And I'm not talking about the people here. <laughs> no in, live in the audience. audience. Okay? I ain't right. talking about live the audience, audience members, can't participate. Okay? I ain't talking about the <laughs> audience members. I, if, if anybody's watching this, if y'all can tell me exactly what sign his son is. There you go, baby. Thank you. Yeah. Then uh, we'll put something in your cash app. The first person to do that, then, yeah, we can do it. Let's continue. Uh, tell me exactly who you want. Who would you like to work with? Um... So like, tell, so like anybody, anybody, well, like, yeah, like anybody. Well, well, okay, so anybody in the music yeah. business. But do you have or have you started a relationship with people like Beat King out of Houston? Do you know him, or I mean, have you connected with him in any way? When it comes, you know, because Beat comes here to Dallas, very good friend of mine. Yeah, and, you yeah, know, we, yeah. we, we we talk and stuff. I mean, when it comes to like Houston, you can't say most CJB and nobody don't know who I am. When I'm in the club, they playing my song, they showing love. I show love back. You know what I'm saying? That's a place where I really grew up. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, became something in that place. Houston mm -hmm. is a selfish city. You know, yeah. They show love, but it's different. Like, when I'm out here in Dallas, they show crazy love. When I'm in Houston, they show crazy love, too, but it's different. You know it's what I'm a saying? different and love. That, that type of beyond. Yeah, like, right. you know, you, know, you got to leave and go see, like, what the real, what the fans really like, what the love really like. I mean, in your city, it, it, it's love. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, this is my city of love. But when it comes to, like, bigger artists in the city and shit, they don't really look back and show love to the younger people that's coming up because they they scared like, damn, this nigga really gonna be something one day. But why not just uh, fuck with it or collide with it? You know what I'm saying? And we all could be eating as a city. That Atlanta ain't scared to do shit like that. Texas you know is kind of scared to do that. A lot of yeah. them are scared to do that. They yeah, scared all, to bro, feed slim, each other. Slim the nigga Trill Sammy, uh, Sauce Walker. All I can go, I can say all these names. They all know most CJB. We follow each other. You know what I'm saying? It, we we just don't fuck with each other like that. Like that's just how how Houston is. But it's know, like it's not like it's not shade intentional. Would you uh, say or or is it? It's a Texas it's a little thing. Bit. Yeah, it's no, it's a Houston. Thing. Wait, no, they do it here in, in Dallas too. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. So yeah, that's why I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a Texas it. thing. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do it. It's a Texas situation because I, I was trying to work with somebody with some music and stuff like that. And uh, they were like, oh, bro. But then, you know, um, I have a Warner Brothers uh, producer who is talking to me and stuff like that. And we're trying to get my music and stuff. And then it's like, hey, bro, I need you to make me some beats. Mm -hmm. I need to get in the studio. I need this. I need this. But then it's like, you know, they... If I don't have the proof for them, they won't. I had they to show be. them. Yeah. I had mm -hmm. to, you know what I'm saying, show them and tell them Shit. this. This is the show me city. It, I didn't know that, you know. I yeah, thought I came from it. the show me city. You know, Chicago was the, is the show me city. But then when I came out here to Dallas, I just, you know, I, I thought about it. Right. But you're right. You, you, they don't. So they don't help each other. Let's, uh, let's move on a little bit. Let's move on. Last, last year for uh, one of our events, we had Blame It On Quay here in Dallas. Shout out my boy Quay. And Quay tore it up, you know. And, you know, now when I say Quay is on a whole different motherfucking level right now, and I think, first off, he was already doing his thing off the top. Mm -hmm. And just, I seen him a couple months ago, he did a, a reality show with Ludacris, which was off the motherfucking chain. Was it? And, and right, and nigga, he set up there now, he up there with Janet, bitch. He up there with Janet. Who, so who it, else it, better? Right, right, right. So when you say when you say that you're doing something with Janet, it's on and popping. On and popping. You did something with uh, Blame It On Quay. Before you talk about that, I'm going to play that little clip, okay? Right, Is that okay? So we're going to play the little clip. We Actually, they did two clips. So we're going to play the first one and see. Let me see if we can cue that up right. Uh, this was a good one right here. Let's cue that up right there. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Boy, come down. Ain't nobody checking for you with your crooked hairline and your breath stank too. I can't believe I used to put up with your shit because you so controlling with your little ass dick. TT, let's go. He don't want you no more. Duh, bitch. I know because he on a down low. Hold up. You see? Girl, yeah, that nigga fruity. Last night, he let me put my finger in his booty. That's right. What? You surprised? You should be ashamed with that little thing between your guys And I seen your new bitch with her wide neck ass Girl, what she look like? Girl, trash Damn. But it's cool, cause I got a new nigga He real fine and he makes six figures He do Go ahead, be happy with 
your new bitch And don't call Cause I know you gon' miss it Get my motherfucking DM Yo, fuck <laughs> it was funny. How did you how did you link up with uh with Quay and for, for that to happen? Shit, basically Quay, you know what I'm saying, he he on a different platform, on a different level. But at that time when we did that video, we had done one prior and that uh video kinda went viral. But shit, he just texted me and was like, Hey, you trying to shoot a video? I'm like, shit, yeah, I'm always down to work. You know what I'm saying? When he put that wig on, he getting that character as a rap. <laughs> so it's really like we really acting. It's like it's not like we out there playing, we did them takes probably like a thousand times. He's a mm -hmm. perfectionist, just mm -hmm. like me. Mm -hmm. But um, I benefit working with somebody like that. And he benefit also because, you know what I'm saying, they, they want people like me, you know what I'm saying, and his shit that look like me and shit. And I benefited off working with somebody big, and that's from my city, and it was love. But he actually helped me because a lot of people were lost in, in, on social media trying to find out who was really me. Like, right. they see my face everywhere, they see my pictures and all that, but they don't know which account is the real me. You better believe so it. So when he tagged the real me on Facebook and all of that, man, I got so many different fans and followers. It was all, it was crazy. So I'm, you know what I'm saying? It was a blessing working with Quay. Shout out Quay. That was some Houston shit. You know what I'm saying? That was some real love. And uh, bro, really doing his thing. I'm proud of him. We all coming up. Yeah, you got to get down into the yeah, queens. With, with, with the queens of crab. Crab queens. He crab queens. Yeah, he just opened up a. Uh, it's called what now? Crab queens. Crab queens. Yeah. In Houston. In Houston. Y'all make. Timer. I follow him on West Instagram. Timer. Yeah. Make sure y'all go. Y'all check out the restaurant Crab Queens by Blame It On Quays. This we gonna restaurant come down, down there. there. We gonna come down there. Do a live podcast. And if anybody <laughs> has been there, Charles, if anybody has been there, y'all uh, get in the comments. Tell me what you think about it, and then you know we can talk. We can talk about. It. We go down there and we'll do a, bar, a podcast down there, right at the motherfucking table. You at know, the motherfucking we'll do that. Table. Show will, you know me. Yeah. I like. Matter of fact, that's a good idea. It is. It really that's is. That's a real good idea. We should do like a, a podcast eatery where we just travel and just eat food. You know me. <laughs> Gotta be dope. Right. Yes. It'll bring him with us. Right. Well, you I'll, know, I'll put up. a blunt in the mix while right. we're driving in the car. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. <laughs> right. Now, see, well, you now, can we do got, that. We can um, do that. We bring him on city. We bring him on city with us. To okay, taste when food. we come when we come to Houston and we go there, we gonna get him. He gonna come and show us what's up. Yeah, uh, the podcast sure in there. We gonna do that. Sure Traveling up. podcast. Um, that's for our executive producer. He's supposed to be setting all. He gonna set all that up. It's okay. She'll get that deal. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> not too much on the execs. Not okay. too little. Not <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are gonna play another clip. Y'all did another one. I think you said this next one that we're gonna play. I think that was the first one, yeah, right? First. Okay, so I was backwards. This was actually, they were both funny. This was good also. Y'all look at this. Call that bitch up for me. Take it too long. Shit. I ain't seen the other one. Hello? You know how that bitch go, hello? Hey, 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 oh, hey. Trinita. Yeah, this JB. I, I can't fuck with you like that no more. Why? Because my bitch, she. she Yo, bitch. Yo, bitch. Uh, I've been your girlfriend for seven years and I'm your bitch. Okay, okay, my girlfriend. Your wife. My wife. In that order, nigga. Damn. The fuck? Always tripping about some shit. Call that bitch up. Call that bitch up. Call it like you can hoe up. Call that bitch up. Damn, it's always something. See? That shit going straight to voicemail. Leave that hoe with voicemail. Shit. Yeah, this JD. I can't fuck with you like that no more because my dad. I'll talk to you later. Later? So uh, that that was funny. That was real funny. That was one of the the, the good videos. If y'all tell me what you think about that real quick, y'all tell me exactly how uh, your thoughts on those videos. So uh, Lala and uh, Quay, I mean, I just go off of uh, what I assume, you know, because I'm on the outside looking in. They assume to be good friends. I'm yeah. sure they are good friends and stuff like yeah. that. Um, she had did a thing, uh, just like you was talking about earlier, about people, you know, in the industry helping each other and feeding each other versus uh, she did like something with a panel of women on BT, And she was just simply telling people, you know, as us being together as comedians on the same or whatever we are on the same platform, we should feed each other and not leave uh, each other hungry mm -hmm. when I might be good at something and you might not be good at that, but I can help you and you can help me be greater at something that I'm not good at. Mm -hmm. And she spoke about that. And I, uh, when you said that, I was just thinking about that. And I was like, well, what is the reference into that of 
Quay, you know, saying uh, allowing you to be in one of his little funny videos and stuff like that. How did that experience allow it to help you? To be honest, he wouldn't have reached out to just anybody. You have, he, you really have to be somebody, you know. what I'm saying for somebody like on a bigger platform to want to reach back and mm -hmm. work with you. I was, I'm not on his level. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying I'm, I'm growing and getting there, but he reached back. And help somebody that's in the city where he's he from. trying to pay it you forward. You kind of on a high level though. For, oh, now you, for shit. I mean, show. but yeah, when you get yeah. your shoes, when you get yeah. your face on some shoes, hey, right. you, hey. you surpass right. the Right, because not everybody can do that. Not everybody can do that. I wish I could. So they sit up there. You walk in the motherfucking mall and you see your you see your face and stuff on some shoes. <laughs> okay, but that's at a that's at a level that's that's beyond that's high. Great. right. Yeah, yeah, right, hey, already. Man, the world but what what he's saying is is that bitch. That's just something small compared to what's what's up there. What's next? Hey, right. Sky's the limit, man. Like I said, I'm just getting my feet wet with a lot of shit that I'm doing, but I've done a lot of big work with yes. a lot of big brands, producers, designers, shit, artists, all kind of shit, man. It's just, y'all just stay tuned. Like I always say, I never know what guy got in store for a young nigga, but I know I'm getting better with time. Amen. I'm, I'm young. Uh -huh. I got a lot of shit to endure. I endure it a lot. Man, it, it's just crazy, man. But shout out to Quay for giving me them opportunities. You know what Definitely I'm shout out to Quay. Shout out to Quay. Quay, Quay, when we tag you in this, uh, somebody tag Quay. So, so we can bring him down to the pool. Quay. Bring him down to the chateau. <laughs> oh, pretty soon. We, oh, well, we'll probably discuss but that. But if after I'm not mistaken, city. Quay's from uh, Dallas. Is he from Dallas? I think so. Quay right? from Dallas. To be honest with you, I think I did hear that. He probably is from Dallas, but you know what I'm saying? He, he kind of had his. It's a little Set thing up in, in Houston. Houston. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Wait. Oh, just yeah. hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Don't undercut Dallas. Well, baby. Okay. Don't, don't undercut. Don't, know. don't, up, don't okay. uppercut it either. Right. Okay. <laughs> what it is is what it is. Hey, I'm okay. not. I'm not. <laughs> don't up. Don't undercut my shout town. Out, shout out D town. They show please love. Please don't. Up, love. Don't undercut his town. Please. <laughs> please don't. We smoke in the motherfucking city. Please don't. <laughs> I like that though. He feel about Dallas. I feel about Houston. Right. In right. Most right. City. I don't feel that way really about Chicago, you know what I'm saying? But well, you know, that's because you're not there right now. I, they ran it, you out of there from what my no, baby from what they told run, me. They wait, wait, they ran baby, you baby, out of wait, Chicago. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So you had a ponytail. They done ran you out of Chicago. Which one of the girls And they done you got ran out. Okay. What was it a 27 piece? I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. It was like Quays, okay? I don't know. They ran you out of town. Long braids. Box braids. Blue. Box braids. Blue. Okay. Oh, blue. Yeah. Blue block. Blue. I can't even say it because blue. Box break. Yes. Oh, so you trying to get me? No, I'm just teasing. Oh, okay. I'm Thank you so much. But yeah, <laughs> I about to say another girls did not say that. Yes. But yes. Anyway. <laughs> but um, anyway, man. So you you have you've been here in Dallas. You've done modeling. You've done uh, music. Where do you see yourself one year from today? One year from today, shit is it's scary because that's so short. It, it's short, but so much can happen right. in a year. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like I say, sky's the limit because in 2017, I didn't think that for a year from now, I would be in A6. I would be in Houston magazines. I would be in the Houston. I made it to the Houston Chronicle, too. You know what I'm saying? That, that mm -hmm. A6 shit was just one big thing I did. I was in the newspaper. I mm -hmm. was in the magazines that you can only get in Houston. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, shit, I don't know, man. The sky's the limit. I, Crave I, I, Cuts. I, is that what it's called? Crave Cuts. What you mean? Is that is what what magazine? It was uh, it was Houston Luxury. Okay, like okay, magazine. yeah. But um, and they and they issue things out every month. It's a big brand magazine. Right. But um, a year from now, I I can't even just put in words what where I would be. But just know I'm gonna be bigger and better, uh, music wise, modeling wise, my personal life wise. I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna have bigger shit going on by then. Let alone the big shit I got going on right now. I got a lot of shit in the works. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm always grinding. I'm always working on shit. I'm always feeding my fans what they want. You know what I'm saying? Because if it wasn't for my fans, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't really be what me. What would you be? Yeah, I'd be me, but <laughs> them numbers don't lie. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They show the numbers they, don't they, tell they, a lie. They don't lie. They people don't lie, lie, but numbers never no, lie. Yep. Numbers <laughs> never lie. Y'all make sure y'all... People lie, but numbers never lie. <laughs> Facts. Y'all make sure y'all see on the screen right in front of y'all. Make sure y'all uh, follow Mo City JB yes, at Instagram. Y'all yes. add hey, to that right that's there. That's Instagram. That's Twitter. And that's all I got. Yep. Yeah. Now you on Snap too now. Don't I, come, I don't, snap. don't come in there and start Man, to rise now. I, I, okay, I you on Snap, snap too. Well, wait, you know you got the Tumblr right. too now. And, and you got and you was on Tumblr, Tumblr too now. I had a Tumblr back in the gap. Yeah. So oh yes, the gap. What now? What was what was you posting on Tumblr? Because you know, so on one half of Tumblr it's okay, and then on the other side it's kind of explicit now. Shit, so I probably was like maybe like seventeen or something when I had a Tumblr. 
know what I'm saying? I had a Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter at the same time, but I was Twitter famous first. So I have Tumblr, and I upload some shit on my shit. Now, I got to tell you this now. Cause Come something, on, tell it. Something just came down in the books right here now. Someone told, someone had inboxed me, and they said that they seen a picture of Mo City JB, and it was kind of... Kind of on, uh, yes, it's kind of on the explicit it's side now. Now, I, now, I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna put it on the screen here. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. What do you, you call for it? Yeah. Now, if y'all want to see it, because I have it. I have. What, what I kind, have it. Yeah. What kind of picture is? Oh, were, the, the wood. Yeah. Oh man, somebody, somebody, somebody hacked my uh, my Snapchat a few years ago, man, and stole all my shit. So well, you when know. you when you open somebody's Snap, you can pull down their their messages and shit. Yeah. But um. It's so it's of, true. What you mean it's true? It's so, okay. As as far as some, <laughs> pictures and shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean shit. Yeah. You know, okay. that, that, when I was a, that when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I was a teenager on some wild shit. Right. Sending shit to people. I never thought she would get out. But you know what I'm saying? When you somebody on a certain platform, people try to steal your shit. Right. They try to steal your social media. They make catfish pages. They make all kind of shit of you. And uh, they'll catfish they you in a minute. Yeah, now. I, know, I know. I know. A lot of my friends, they do some catfishing I, and stuff. You know, they do that. My page, I was, my pictures, always nah, catfish. I ain't gonna say no hey, names. And, you know? and, and, and just speaking on that <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? When you somebody big on a platform and you got big shit going on, you are gonna have to address shit in your past. I don't got no reason to lie. Right. I don't have no reason to uh. That's one hundred. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anything you see on the internet, come ask me about it. I I, I feel comfortable telling you the truth. I don't have. Don't no tell me that. Shit. Yeah, shit, <laughs> y'all, shit, anything I found on it, y'all want to see that up. picture? Y'all come on in my <laughs> but, uh, inbox. But, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> send you the picture. Hey, but on the internet, you're gonna believe what you see, right? Because a lot of people would just see me and assume or think these things until they sit down and talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Have a conversation with me, or uh, just see where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? They probably think you're nasty. Yeah, a, th- a picture is a thousand words, but you come come, come sit down you and talk to me. You can see my pictures. I'm nasty. <laughs> you know you nasty. <laughs> a nigga would never you know deny it. Hey, and, 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 and all of us that be back it. then to now. <laughs> Yo, we got we got we got we got big shit going on, man. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. Out, fuck yeah. all that extra shit. Yeah. Well, Mo City, we ain't gonna take up too much of your time. You know, we know so, you gotta so. uh, head back. You know, to Houston. You know, I'm glad that you came in. You stopped through. Thank you so you much. know, Ear Hustling Podcast. This has been a great one. We getting ready to continue this party. We going to to uh, the OT Tavern tonight, and then we're going to head to another place later on tonight. You know, it has been a pleasure. My motherfucking man right here. Thank uh, you so much. Right there. Yes. We learned this experience. Hey, shout out out to Ear Hustling. Shout out my boy Y2 James. Shout out my boy Unique. Make sure you... Shout out Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Houston shit, BG shit, HBMG shit, Mo City JB. Make sure beast. also, make sure also that if you don't know, T.S. Madison will be here in Dallas. Actually, she's here now, but she's having a big event tomorrow at Club Deja Vu. So y'all get in my inbox or hers or go to Eventbrite or y'all get with Dallas Southern Pride. They're giving away tickets to see T.S. Madison. Uh, y'all go to their page and see that, and uh, that's going to be good. As a matter of fact, Ear Hustling Podcast is actually going to be doing the media coverage. We will there be. Also. It will be. So, you know, Ooh. we're trying to do some things also. Trying Marcella, you're not it. the only one who's trying to push through. Trying okay? to do the damn thing. No, we're trying to push through. We're trying to knock them out. Right, right. Do you think, do you But think? It's, been, it's been wonderful, you know, and that I, I don't really have anything else. You know, Unique, my motherfucking man right my here. My motherfucking man. You know, so we'll see you we'll next see week. Later. You know, and that's just what it is. Jamie, hey, Jamie, come on. Jamie. Jamie. Show him, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. We love Jamie. Yes. She did a good job. She did real good. Yes. All right. Well, that's what's up. Bye, y'all. All right, y'all. We out. Mwah. Deuce. <laughs>